Hey, True Life Church, Pastor Chris here. Wanted to do something different this month for the looking back section of our newsletter. Uh, there's some things that are worth celebrating and I wanted to really celebrate them. And there's some stuff that are that's sad. And um, I just didn't feel like doing, it was appropriate to just do a list of things. Um, so let's just celebrate some things. First of all, uh, baby Cora was born to Tom and Christine Sargent with Kale and Chase as her older brother. And baby Jack was born to Justin and Brianna Garden with Avery as his older brother. And we are so excited to meet these two new, new additions to our church community. Um, we're so excited for Tom and Christine, for Justin and Brianna. Both couples had a, a long journey of, of trying to get pregnant. It was a real answer to prayer. And so we, we're so happy about it. Um, another thing that's really exciting that's happened in the last month is Corey Nichols from Destiny Rescue came. And he preached a message and he talked about what his organization is doing to uh, rescue young girls and boys out of human trafficking, sexual exploitation. And many of you guys signed up to be partners. Many of you t guys came, gave one-time gifts. Um, and when you add it all up, uh, we gave enough and we were partnering and we we're pledging enough to rescue 11 kids, 11 kids out of uh, sexual exploitation. Because on average, $1,500 is what it costs to rescue a child. And, and so uh, the total that you guys gave comes to the rescue of 11 kids for this year. And so I am just so excited that you guys were moved and, and, and were jumped into that. We pray that more and more people around the world would jump into the fight. Um, but but that, was, that was just really encouraging for me. And, 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 and I'm excited. Um, also, Delani Serrano kicked off the uh, ESL group to the Hispanic community for the new year. Uh, he's got Christine Aylett helping to teach English. He's got Julian Martinez uh, helping as one of the volunteers. And, and it's growing. And now some of the families are bringing their kids out. And so there's a need for a babysitter. And for that babysitter, uh, there's an opportunity for that babysitter to teach about Jesus to the kids. So that ministry is growing. And it's awesome to hear about. The Chelsea Assisted Living Home, uh, the team that goes in there and, and minister to the to the elderly. Well, some of the staff, after four and a half years of building relationships with the staff, our team was asked to do a Bible study for some of the staff. That's an off the books kind of Bible study. That's not a true life Bible study. That's an off the books one. I love hearing about those. I absolutely love hearing about those off the books types of uh, studies and, and, and get togethers that happen uh, in people's workplaces or with neighbors who are uh, curious and want to explore Jesus. There's obviously a benefit and a, and a plus to having life groups in our church that are on the books, so to speak. Um, there's benefits to that. Uh, there's pluses to that. But there's also a need for and there's a benefit to those more organic off the books. We need both. And and I love hearing that this one started up uh, under the helm of, of Nancy Schiavo. Um, and then there's just our winter life groups in general that are kicking off. And I want to thank our leaders who have stepped up to lead. I know it can be a lot of work to prep, to call, to follow up, to check in. Um, and so I just want to thank those of you who are leading groups for, for stepping into this season. Uh, it, it, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to hear about. Um, and then finally, uh, our youth team had a fundraiser this past Sunday. And many of you guys, I mean, first of all, to the teens who did the baking, good for you guys for putting just so much work into into it. I know you guys spent a lot of time on Saturday preparing. Um, and so good for you guys. Um, our, our, our church gave and donated over $800 worth to the youth ministry retreat coming up. Um, and so I want to thank you guys who, who donated and, and got behind them. Now the sad stuff. Um, David and Bethany Samaya, many of you guys know them. They're, they go to Alive Again Alliance Church, but they've been uh, a part of our young adult ministry. David is one of our youth leaders and they um, have been so excited and looking forward to giving birth to a baby daughter. And, and they had her, they gave birth, and, and then she passed away within a few minutes. She, she had some complications. They didn't know about those complications. She was taken to the hospital, she passed away. Uh, and so we were mourning with them. Many of you guys came out to the service, um, and, and, and we, just, we just mourned with them, and we continue to mourn and grieve with them and pray for them. And then the last thing is Don Palacelli, faithful member of our church community, has been there since uh, Easter Sunday of 2013. Such a big part of our church. Uh, he's been fighting, he's been battling MS, he's been fighting cancer, and um, then he went into the hospital last week with a blood infection in sepsis shock and uh, went into a coma, was put on hospice, and then passed away on Monday afternoon. And uh, so we grieve 
with Cindy. We grieve as those who have hope, not as those who don't have hope. We grieve as those who have hope, but we still grieve. We still grieve. It's a loss. Not having Don around is a loss. Um, we pray for Cindy. And, and if you can make it out on Saturday to his memorial service, it's going to be at Trinity Bible Church at 11 a.m. Um, if you can't make it, please be praying for Cindy and her, her children, Jason and Jacqueline. Um, but if you can make it, we'd love to see you there. All right. So take a look below at some of the things coming up in our True Life community. Thanks, everybody.